Hey everyone, um, I just want to do a really quick tutorial on some shoes. I love my shoes. I'm a girl. I love my shoes. Can't help it. I love shoes and bags. Give me more bags, give me more bags, give me more bags and shoes. Um, I haven't really gone shoe shopping in a while because I haven't really needed to. I have some really good shoes. Yeah, I'm really happy with them. Oh, my cat. Anyway, um, I just want to tell you about some brands of shoes that I love and some that I don't love. Okay, you know, they say every girl needs like a black dress. Well, I say every girl needs a black shoe. These are my black shoes. I've had these for like two years already. It's a brand called R2. And it's cute little studs inside. Anyway, I, um, I started wearing these when I was in high school. And I could never wear, never really wear a heel or a platform heel or anything. So I always fall over. Really unstable. So these are the ones that I started out on. They just got this pretty little wood grain look like over here. It's got a really extremely good grip on the bottom. I mean, look, I've still got the grip after I've been wearing it for three years. They're extremely comfortable. They don't hurt at all. I don't know if they're leather or not. They got this cute little silver buckle on this on the front. I love that bottom. And I think these are pretty. I mean, these these are usually my go-to shoes if I want high heels to wear. Um, I mean, I've grown. I mean, wedge heels. Other high heels. I have different heels that I wear. Um, let's see. Also, I love my Vans. Love them, love them, love them. I have another pair that's uh, teal and light blue. These are just my classic Vans. Um, this is the second pair of Vans I've had. They, the cushion wore out in the first one, so they didn't even tear out or anything, which is really good. These are really good shoes. I mean, I can scrunch them as much as I want, and nothing's gonna happen to them. They stay all nice and pretty. And if y'all haven't heard of this brand, oh, it's so bad for you. I had a friend tell me about Reef Sandals. Okay, if y'all have a Sam's where you live, um, what Reef Sandals is, sorry, I just want to be able to I'll read that, so I just want to transfer it. Um, Reef Sandals, they're really good sandals. I've had these for two years, and I have another pair of pink ones that have gone missing right now. But I've had those for about two years, too. These are extremely hard to break. I know how a lot of times, even if you have the other stuff, it pulls out right here. That doesn't do that on mine. And no, my cat's trying to come on screen, you guys. Sorry. That's my kitty. Say hi. Yeah, that's my kitty. She likes to be on camera, too. <laughs> Good girl. Um, but these, I mean, they're extremely hard to break or anything. Really comfortable. Um, I also have, oh, these are my favorite. I got them for my birthday. One of my one of my birthday presents. I call these my fake Uggs. A lot of people think they're Uggs, but they're not. They're I don't even know what brand they are. I got them at Sam's. Like I got my flip flops. Sam's is a really good place to go, even for clothes, you guys. Um, they're really cute. They got these two little buttons on the side, like wooden buttons. These are the dark chocolate ones, and I love to feel the inside. Oh my god, they're so soft. It's just like fuzzy, fuzzy inside. You see that? Um, I used to work with kids. And I'd see the kids that I work with sometimes, and they would actually stick their hands in here and just rub along the top just to feel how soft it was because they loved how soft it is. And I always thought that was hilarious. I mean, they're little. They don't know. But they thought it was so soft. They thought I had a Chia Pet as my shoe. And it keeps your feet extremely warm. Let me tell you. And I don't care if I wear sweats or whatever. I wore these this winter so much. Um. Oh, I also have... Okay, I have really wide feet. Um, I can't help it. That's how I wore my white. My feet are wide. And if you have really wide feet, I highly recommend for tennis shoes Reebok. I just got these actually a little while ago. I don't even know. It's it's a DMX ride. Yeah, and they're cute. I think they're cute. I love the pink color pink. I'm such a little girl. I love pink and I love gray. Um, so they're just cute inside too. These are really comfy. I've been wearing them for dance class because I was wearing my Vans, but it wasn't enough support for my foot. So I started wearing these, and these are even comfier than my Vans. I mean, a lot of times I'll walk around campus wearing these. The only bad thing is these are really good to work out and everything. Because they have all these, you see all that mesh material right there? And your feet get cold really fast. I found that out. My feet were getting cold really fast around campus this past semester, so I had to change my shoes into my vans. I also love these little, I call them elf boots. I didn't really like them when they first came out, but now I love these boots. They're so comfy, I could wear them 
with a dress or a skirt or leggings or just under my jeans. Well, my favorite little feature is like on the side right here, it's got the little studs. And I don't even know what brand these are. Do I? No, I don't. Oh. She shells? She shells? I don't know. They got cute little grips on the bottom too. It even it's got little circles and I think that's really cute. They're extremely comfy. Um, if you want to wear boots but with no heels, they're really cute. So, my Converse. These are some of the Converse I have. I've been wearing Converse since I was in middle school. I love Converse. I mean, I've had these for two years and look at the sole. The sole's still all intact and it's all there and really nice. Um... Yeah, I really don't have anything. And I love you can throw them in the washer. I throw them in the washer all the time and wash them. And, I mean, I don't know, it's a really good grip. The only bad thing is that a lot of times this part, the rubber part, starts peeling off before the inside of the shoe starts affecting on the side. So be careful with that, you guys, if you really want to shoes that'll last a long time. Um, oh, these are some of my new recent shoes I bought. I don't know if y'all remember Run, Run DNC's type of show. And his dollars on the show, and they had this brand called Pastry. Well, I got these from Burlington Coat Factory, and I love them. They're so cute. They're so comfy. I've never liked shoes that have like are up to the ankle and everything. I've always been a low cut, you know, with my shoes. But these are adorable. They're comfy inside. It's pretty teal. The hot pink tag. Um, I can't remember what these. I think these were called like mint chocolate chip or something. But all the cookie. They're all named like after um, like desserts or whatever. And these are just really cute, and I love wearing them. They're so comfortable. Um, they even have a really good grip on the bottom. It's cute, really cute sole with the pastry in the center. Okay, I love Coach. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Coach. The Coach messed up when they made shoes. Okay, I got these shoes. Look how cute these are. Aren't those cute? And those are like from the Poppy. This is from Poppy. Even the soles were kind of cute. They say Coach on them. Okay, Coach. I mean, look the sequence. Right there, sequence. Pretty little detail. What saddens me to say is I got these and I wore them for about two months in and off. Okay. You see the sole in there? That's what happened after two months of wearing them. My Converse don't even have that much wear and tear after wearing them for six months. It saddens me to say I cannot even wear these anymore. I mean, literally, look, I'll show you. Literally, I have a chunk of sole missing. You see that? See that right there? Oh, this side over here. Eh. I don't know where I'm pointing. You <laughs> see? Y'all know where I'm pointing. Okay, right there. Yeah, right there. You see that patch that's missing? So it's sad to say, I'm lucky, okay? I got these for $25, so I lost $25. They sell these in Macy's and everywhere else for like a hundred and something dollars. Sorry, Coach. I love you. But guys, do not buy Coach shoes. See what happens? Not worth it, okay? So I'm just telling you all the shoes I like and I love and if you agree with me, oh cool. If you don't, well, that's okay too. But, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you'll have a good day. Bye.